Raphael lived for four years in Florence from 1504 to 1508. He arrived in the town because he was curious to observe the works of Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. He became one of the most famous painters of the Italian Renaissance. This painting has been acknowledged as the self-portrait of Raphael as a young man, also based on the comparison between this work and the other self-portrait of the painter visible in the fresco depicting the School of Athens in the room of the Signatur in the Vatican commissioned by Pope Julius II and painted between 1509 and 1511. Raphael also portrays himself, which might seem unimportant, but by doing so, he's defining himself as an artist. In the Middle Ages, painters were considered craftsmen, but here, Raphael positions himself with intellectuals, redefining what an artist is. Raphael was painting the frescoes on the walls and ceiling of the Pope's private library at the same time that Michelangelo was working on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. One day, Raphael and a buddy secretly snuck into the Sistine Chapel to check out Michelangelo's progress. Michelangelo later accused Raphael of plagiarism and said, Everything he knew about art he got from me. Raphael's life, though cut tragically short, is one of immense impact. From possibly as early as 11, he was apprenticed to a painter, started to influence other local painters by 16, and was producing independently by the age of 21. In this time, he lost both of his parents, but continued his growth as a painter and as an artist.